Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about the Masterpiece series, which is Kaladeses, and from Kaladesh on, we will get Expeditions, the Super Mythic Rare at 1 in 144 packs. I predicted this in a previous video that it made a lot of sense because it sold so much product. And if Wizards of the Coast, their main goal is not to get more players, but to get players who already know what the cards are worth and to invest more money in a lottery system, this is it. Uh, Expedition, one in every 40, 144 boosters, roughly. And that is pretty crazy. So do I love it? Do I hate it? I love the fact that it will make standard cheaper or assured because you're adding additional value and it will make expeditions much, much easier to obtain, which is fantastic. Some things to note is if you do pull one of these in your limited or sealed pool, you can actually play it. So you can play a, let's say a mana crypt would be a good example. If a mana crypt is in the masterpiece, then that makes a lot of sense that you want to put in your deck because it's kind of OP. So each individual block will have its own name for these series, and the Masterpiece series would be for just Kaladesh. Another thing to note is the number of Masterpiece series cards may fluctuate, but roughly speaking, it's about uh, around 50 cards for the whole block. So Kaladesh Inventions has 30 in Kaladesh, 24 in Aether Revolt. Um, all Masterpiece series are printed in English, but do appear in non-English products. The expansion symbol for each Masterpiece series will be block-specific. Um, all Masterpiece cards will exist only in premium foil versions, which are the Expeditions. Uh, Masterpiece cards are planned for Magic Online, but are not to be redeemable and are not counted as part of the set. They're going to be distributed in a new, exciting way. But we're not quite ready to announce what that is. Look for announcement later this month. Obviously, Masterpiece will not be Magic Duels. Uh, Magic, and this is important to know if you do pull one of these. Masterpiece cards can be played in limited formats. They are open in and any constructed format in which the card is already legal. I'm, you know, this is both exciting and a little worrisome because now we have, uh, when they came out with Mythic, I was like, wow, that's kind of a bad concept. And now they can't come up with the super mythic. Will there be a rarity even above the expedition? Let's call it E squared. Probably in the future. So every one out of every uh, 10,000 booster packs, there'll be a E squared mythic. Uh, or they won't even be called mythic. It'll be called something totally awesome. So what do you guys think about this? It's incredible news. Um, very exciting news. And definitely something that I expected, but not this soon. Battle for Zendikar sold a ton of booster packs outside of the Expeditions and the Full Art Lands. The set is incredibly weak and incredibly devoid of value outside. I mean, you have Gideon, which is nice. But Expeditions sold that set. I mean, it completely sold it. If you can pull a foil Full Art Misty Rainforest, why would you not buy a booster pack? Uh, for that you know lottery chance so the I, I, it feels like the rich get a little more wealthier and then the poor can play the game a little better because the rich will pay essentially subsidize it because they're willing to pay outrageous prices for these expedition mythics anyway leave me a comment below what do you guys think do you love it do you hate it i'm mixed right now i'm not really sure how i feel about it i knew it would happen I just didn't expect it to happen so soon. Anyway, bye guys.